So you're telling me that they are already here? Hmm. Interesting. Did you lay a hand on them? Perfect. You know how I am when you damage something that's mine. Now, you can bring them to the throne room when I call for them. Understand? I will be waiting. You may bring them in. Why on earth are they in chains? They look exhausted. So this is the one that I've been hearing so much about. Tell me, were the others kind to you when they were bringing you to me? Speak. Such a quiet little thing. I didn't understand that you were mute. Perhaps your tongue was cut out. What a horrible thing have you done to deserve such a thing? No, you aren't mute. Just don't wish to speak with me. <sighs> I can understand that. After all, you are the one that's supposed to be sacrificed, not I. I desire to be alone with them. Now that we're alone, you do not need to feel anxious. You may speak to your heart's desire. You thought I was going to be cruel. What type of barbaric stories have the people of the village been spreading about me? Truly? That actually hurts a bit. Do you think I look like some sick and twisted king that would do something like rip a human to shreds with my claws? Do my horns look terrifying? Well, I do apologize for that. They may come off like that, but I can assure you they are harmless. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Because I'm curious. Humor me a bit, won't you? Oh, I see. Is that truly how you were treated? That's despicable. How dare they treat another fellow human like yourself the way you've been described. It's sickening. If I could, I would go there myself and rip out their throats with my teeth. Of course I would do that. Unfortunately, with the treaty in place, if I set foot in their territory, it would end horribly. Are you crying? Don't cry anymore. You're safe here. I... I see. I still terrify you. What happened to the others, you ask? It's quite simple. I gave them a new life. No, I do not mean by eating them. That's just some sick fairy tale that you've been told. No. I gave them a new life by giving them a new identity and some coin for traveling. The stories that you were told portrayed me as some monster. That was my father. Yes, my father was a cruel and sick man. Once he had passed, everything fell onto me. Of course, villagers didn't know about that. If they had, they wouldn't hesitate to start a war. Or where unnecessary blood would be shed in the wee hours of the morning. Now, why don't you come along and follow me? You won't get in trouble. I'm the king. Now come along. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What was that? We are going to my quarters. You need to wash up. Get dressed in appropriate clothing and something warm in your belly. No, we are not going to be wearing these rags that you call clothes. You will wear something suitable if you are to stay here while I deal with a few things. Don't you worry about what I'm dealing with. The only thing I want you to do is relax and get cleaned. I will send in the maids to help you if you so desire. 
It isn't much, but this is suitable for the time being. Now, I will let you get cleaned up. Do you require the maid's assistance, or will you be good on your own? Perfect. Then I'll let you go. If you need anything, all you have to do is call my name, and I will immediately come. Oh, I hear you. You'd be surprised. Now, off you go to the restroom. I will have the clothes on the dresser and will knock before entering to make sure that you're appropriate. Couldn't believe they would so much as lay a hand on such an innocent creature. I should know by now that my father's dead. Whether they like it or not is not my problem. They will pay one way or another. Are you appropriate? If you are not, I will wait out here until you are. I was only making sure you were appropriate. I'm sure the last thing you would desire is me seeing you unclothed. And now that you're dressed, I'm having the maids prepare you a meal. Hopefully, you aren't too picky. It's good to hear. No, I wish to see something. Show me your wrists. And I wish to have a better look at your cheeks and your neck. Because I need to see them. I promise I won't lay a harmful hand on you. All you have to do is let me see them. Oh dear. And they did this to you. I will have their heads on a wooden stake. How dare they do something like this to you. I'll have someone grab some ointment and a nice warm cloth for you. It's alright. It's okay. I'm right here. Would you like to lay in bed and relax for the rest of the evening? Perfect. Now I will... Join you? As you wish. Come here. I... You were going to sleep on my chest. I see. I have nothing to say about that. Just know you're completely safe with me. I will not do anything to you. No. Rest until the maids return. I promise you I won't leave you while you rest. No. Sleep, little creature.